Yo guys, it's Raymond. First of all, I wanted to take a second and thank you guys. We just reached 300 subscribers on my YouTube. That's crazy. In celebration of that, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tutorial video on how I paint in Sugimori style. Check it out. All right, for the tools you'll need, I use a Wacom tablet. You'll need a brush tool, eraser tool, pen tool, magic wand tool, and smudge tool. Combination of these tools will change your life, I promise you. It actually took me a while to decide what Pokemon I wanted to sketch. I was gonna kinda cheat you guys and use line art that I've already done, but we're celebrating, so decided to go with the OG number one, Bulbasaur. This tutorial is mainly on how I paint in Tsugimori style. I feel like my own drawing style is a little bit more dynamic than what traditional Pokemon lines are. I wanted to draw you guys happy little Bulbasaur. Show you guys what mood I'm in. Again, I can't thank you guys enough. 300 subscribers. That's crazy. Which video have you guys liked so far? Let me know in the comments. All right, now that we're done with the brush, now we're done with the lines, we're gonna create a layer under your line layer, and we're gonna color it. Kinda eyeballing Bulbasaur's base color. We're gonna fill the whole thing in with the fill tool. Using the magic wand tool, we're gonna select the outside of the line art, and we're gonna delete that boy. So this little button right here, you're gonna click it. Once you click it, that's gonna lock your color down, and it's not gonna affect any of the outside area. Watch this. Yeah. I told you guys, I want to change your life. I want to make your guys' lives easier. This tool, just by itself, helped me so much. This tool is so handy. I wish I knew the name. I just call it the little checkerboard button. You know, I've never noticed that Bulbasaur doesn't have a tail. I'm literally just now realizing this as I'm drawing it. That's how I've drawn it for years. Learn something new every day, I guess. I'm using the pen tool, by the way. Now for the shading, Pokemon Nintendo kind of likes using a bluish shade. So we're gonna go up here, get a bluish shade for the shadows. And we're gonna make another layer on top of your color layer and set it to multiply. We're gonna get our brush, set it to around 60. I would say 40 to 60 is a good range. You know, I like using it at 60, I have a bit of a heavier hand. We're just gonna kinda go ham on this Bulbasaur. You know, Nintendo likes having kind of a lighter layer, stretch a little farther than the darker layer. And we're gonna go over here, we're gonna get the smudge tool, little finger, we're gonna click it. This is also gonna change your life. Now you're gonna go uh, make sure the strength is around 40. I have it at 37. You know, 30 to 50 is a good range for that. Now we're gonna go to the multiply layer. Make sure you're in the multiply layer. And you're just gonna kinda smudge the edges. I like having a bit of a, a round backwards C shape whenever I smudge. You know, you wanna create some kind of waves at the edge. And that's what gives it that signature shading look that Pokemon uses. Color over, your brush is gonna stay the same. Brush setting is gonna stay the same, or at least I have it the same. We're gonna move on to the highlights. Now for that, Nintendo likes using kind of a yellow tint, so anything in this area will be fine. We're gonna go ahead and make a layer. We're gonna set that layer, which is on top of your colors, on top of your shadows, but under your lines to soft light. And the same thing, we're gonna go ham. Same thing, go over those highlights with the smudge tool, erase any excess stuff. Since the shadows and the highlights are not on your color layer, those are still outside of your line. So make sure you go back. Uh, you can use the magic wand tool to select the outside again and just delete that. It's like cutting the fat off of me. Here I'm gonna try to get the colors a little closer to the official art. Here you can see it compared to the real art. The real art, the official art, has kind of a overlaid texture. Um, you could do that by just having a black and gray or black and white, um, just a random texture. Overlay that over your colors and you get a similar effect. You can change the opacity there depending on how you like it. 
there it is. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know if you guys have any concerns. Thank you guys again for watching. Raymond.